Hello! I'm back again. Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna do um one more video. I need to do one more video, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more video before I go. I might not be doing too many videos because unfortunately I'm not getting that many views, so there's no point in me doing too many videos if I'm not gonna get that many views. I don't have many subscribers. I only have 35. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've only got 35 subscribers. But anyway, I'm going to do one more video before I go. This will be my final video. I'm probably not going to do any more <laughs> videos anymore, but this will be my final video. I'm going to do on a guy that you might have heard of on YouTube. He's got a, he's got a YouTube channel. His name's Ursling Carl. Now, I'm going to give you my views on what I think about Ursling Carl. Ursling Carl, again, he's another one. Without a shadow of a doubt. Is another member of the alt right, another member, another classic closet racist. I have to say, he is another one. Ethnic Carl basically only believes in the white race. He believes in racial separation. He just, I mean, I feel, I mean, he, these are the people who, you know, he's actually joined UKIP as well, which I mean, I, don't know, I, don't <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I even want to join you. I was thinking about joining UKIP as well, to be honest, but if, if he's joined UKIP, I don't really want to join UKIP anymore. I guess it really shows you the West is finished. You've got even these people are joining UKIP, and UKIP was supposed to be some kind of you know libertarian party, not a party of the the alt right and the far right. But anyway, you know, I guess you know, people. What is what? You know, it's up to him anyway. But yeah, Ursling <coughs> Carl is a guy who basically he basically believes in the alt right principles. You know, he believes in white nationalism, white separatism. He's against interracial relationships. Actually, I gave him a test. But he's such a, he's a complete, he's, he, he, he's so, he just fell for the trap because he's not that clever as he thinks he is. I actually gave him a test. I actually wrote something on his, uh, um, obviously on his videos, I wrote something on, underneath on the comments section. And I asked him, and this was a test. He failed the test because he's not that clever. I asked him, what's your views on interracial relationships? And he was like, um, I don't agree with them. See, just see, this this just proves your point. It, can, it, this, it just proves my point. Okay, he's not clever. If he was an if he was a clever guy, if he was being very sneaky, he would have said, "Well, yeah, I don't really have a problem with interracial relationships. It's, it's up to the individuals, you know. I if people want to have interracial relationships, there's nothing wrong with it. It's all part of the society. It's all part. Of, you know, we're in 2019, baby. But no, he didn't say that." He fell for my trap. That was the, that was his chance. That was Ursling Carl's chance to prove that he's not a racist. And if he wasn't a racist, he would have said, "Look, I don't, uh, you know, I agree with interracial relationships. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, if a, you know, if a brown guy wants to shack a white woman, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, white women are beautiful. You know, they're not just a white man's property. Everyone can shag them if they want. You know, white women are beautiful. They're not just for us. They're for everyone. Everyone should be able to appreciate her beauty." But no, Ursula Carl didn't say that. Ursula Carl said, I don't agree with interracial relationships, which proves my point. But that's an easy way. That's an easy way to prove if someone is a racist or not. Because most, not most racists, just about all racists don't believe in interracial relationships. And that's how you know they're racist. Because someone who's not a racist would, not, would have no problem with interracial relationships. They would have no problem with it. You know, if a brown guy wants to be with a white woman, or whatever it is, you know, if a, if a white guy wants to be with a black woman, that's wonderful. They should be allowed to, that's their right. But the racist, that's not what they believe. They believe a white woman should only be with a white man. That's it. They actually believe the only reason to have white women in this world is just so they can make white babies. This is what the racist neo-Nazis believe. Leslie Carl is a dangerous, evil man. He gives, he gives Britain a bad name, he gives England a bad name, he gives the white people a bad name, he gives Birmingham a bad name. He's not a nice guy. And I have to be honest, you know, I don't agree with anything he's got to say. Obviously I'm against, you know, obviously I'm against open borders, I'm against globalism, of course I am. I am a right winger. But he gives right wing people a bad name because he's not a right winger. He is far right, he's an alt right, he's a white separatist, a white nationalist. And he'll play games and pretend he's not a racist, but that's the game these people always play. They're just cowards. They can't admit that they're racist. Same with Richard Spencer. Even Nick Griffin can't admit he's racist. So of course people like Ursling Carl and Richard Spencer are going to play games. And if, if you ask these people a question, you just ask them, are you racist? Of course they're going to deny it because they're cowards. They haven't got the balls to admit it. 
But that's what he is. He's a disgusting human being. He's just completely vile. And he has a complete hatred of non-white people. He does. You know, if you're just against Islam, I would agree with it. I'm against Islam. I think Islam is an evil religion. I'm against open borders. I'm against globalism. I believe in the West. I believe in England. I believe in limited government, low taxes, controlled immigration. That is what a classic right winger is. But Gertling Carl is not a classic right winger. He's an alt right, far right, dangerous, disgusting human being. That is the sad truth. I'm just being honest. And YouTube knows who this guy is. They know he's doing all kinds of dangerous videos. But you know, it's up to him. You know, same with Red Ice TV. Everybody knows Red Ice TV on YouTube is a is a white separatist, white nationalist uh, YouTube channel. But it's still there. I mean, obviously, they have right to talk about their views. I don't agree with it. It's evil. But that is my view on Ursula Carl. He didn't pass the test. He failed. That was his chance. When I when I uh, when I replied to him on his comment section, I asked him, "Do you believe in interracial relationships?" He said, "No, he doesn't. He failed the test. He fell for the trap." And he proved that he's a racist. It's sad, but it's true. He had a chance. If he was a lovely, intelligent man, if he was a, if he was a true English gentleman, he would have said, you know what, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with interracial relationships. If you want to be with a white woman, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, good luck. I hope you have beautiful mixed race children and God bless you. But that's not who he is. He's not a lovely guy. He's a disgusting human being. But anyway, I, well, you know, I forgot to give you my opinion anyway. But you know, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we, we live in a sick world. We can't live in a perfect society where everyone is right-wing atheist, where everyone is nice, where we all get along and we all have beautiful children together and we all just get along somehow. We can't live in that kind of society, unfortunately. We live in a society of scum, basically, of evil scum everywhere. That's the society we live in. And as I said before, the West is finished, not just because of Islam and globalism. The West is finished also because there's lots of scum in the West. But anyway, you know, thank you. I gotta go. Bye bye.